Also, winter weather has fire officials lifting burn bans in Butte, Tehama, Glen, and Shasta counties. Paradise has also lifted the ban on dooryard burning. However, you still need to check with your air quality management to find out whether it is an, an allowed burn day before you burn. And it's not just California feeling the impacts of the storm on various roadways. Shortly before midnight, the Oregon DOT closed Interstate 5 heading into California due to whiteout blizzard conditions. The agency says it will reassess at daybreak whether that roadway will be reopened. And Interstate 80 over Donner Summit is open after multiple weather-related crashes forced a shutdown there. Caltrans fully reopened both directions of I-80 from Alta to the Nevada State Line following several crashes. Chain controls remain in effect over I-80 and all mountain passes, including highways 70, 32, 44, and 299. And with these weather patterns rapidly changing, if you do have to be out on the roadways, remember, check your road conditions ahead of time. You can do this in real time because Caltrans has cameras scattered throughout the region so you can see what to expect. We use them quite often. Visit actionnewsnow.com. We do have a link to that information. Simply look under news links at Caltrans cameras. For the time being, there will be no cannabis shops in the city of Chico. Tuesday night, the city council voted to move that issued forward to another meeting. They did vote, however, to have city staff evaluate state regulations for how to advertise cannabis and to establish caps on the potency of what type of pot would be sold. Crews continue to fight the cave fire burning in Santa Barbara County. That fire exploded overnight Monday, devouring more than 4,000 acres in Santa Barbara County. Firefighters are hoping anticipated rainy weather will help douse those flames. And of course, you're never more than